Many of our Get A Life viewers are already well aware of the Jimbaroo program and the wonderful benefits that children and parents alike receive from it. Today I've got three wonderful people with me today to tell us about their personal experiences with the program. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Ruth, maybe you could introduce the two lovely ladies by your side and yourself and tell us a bit about your background. All right, my background is um, I was a primary school teacher. Well, I discovered Jim Brew and um, went into it and um, I just regret that I didn't know what I know now um, when I was actually teaching in a primary school because um, I could have helped so many more children develop uh, and learn at a better rate. Um, next to me I have Sienna, who was one of our very first um, babies that came to us 12 years ago and is now in year six at her school. And next to her is Renee, her mum, who um, has had three children come to Jimbaroo. She is now one of our instructors. Tell me about what's happened this year and what you've been offered. Yeah, I've um, actually had a lot of achievements. Through our academic, I have gotten a, a school captain and sports captain. And lucky enough, I got into two sports. It was softball and basketball. Ruth, it's not uncommon to get the high achievers out of the program, is it? No, not at all. Um, our first cohort of babies that came to us for the first five years are now um, in year, year six, their last year before high school. And at, we have seven, that we know of, seven school captains out of 25 children which wow. is amazing. So Ruth, what do you think the key elements are that produce these positive outcomes? The program is movement based. As a result of this, by the time children are ready to go to school and they've done five years of, of the program, they're in control of their body so that their brain doesn't have to think about how they're going to move, it can focus on learning. It really results in um, leadership skills, social and emotional and academic development which all needs to be on the same level for the child to blossom. But the key element is that we encourage and educate the parents so that they can do the same sort of activities at home with their children. You don't need a whole lot of equipment at home, it's just practising and what we're hoping for is that the parents will reinforce what we do at home every day to get the full benefit of these movement patterns with the children. So Renee, tell us about how you got started and how you heard about the program. We moved to Maitland when Sienna was only little, about eight weeks, and I was going to mother care nurses and weighing her and doing all these things that you do with first time mum and they suggested the program. and. I thought, wow, I have to do that. So she went to the program from about four months old and never looked back. She went every term, didn't miss a term until she went to school. She just blossomed before our eyes, just independent, would go out and, and get a treasure bag. And then when she was in the school readiness program, we wanted to be the leader in the front of the line to do the relay. And, and that's just flourished right through primary school. Very clever girl. So what do you think are the key things that you learnt from doing the program? The program has um, given me opportunities like with more confidence, different learning skills. So what would you say to parents out there who, who, you know, who haven't heard of Jim Brew and want to know more about the program? Certainly get involved and um, the outcomes are just amazing for not only confidence, self-esteem, but um, academic, social, emotional. Those three things need to be on the same level for a child to exceed. Well, thank you so much for being here and sharing your story with us. For any of our viewers who want more information, just head over to our website and follow the links.